Good morning. Let me first start by saying the Queen Sugar Review is late because I have been working nonstop. Um, on top of that, depression. And I, when I when I feel like this, I just don't. I cannot give Queen Sugar the attention that it needs for me to write down my notes and relay it back to y'all. So I'm trying to wait for you know this little moment to pass so I can you know pay attention, write it down, and talk to y'all about it. You know, right now I, I can't give it you know the attention it deserves i can do these little you know daytime divas and basketball wives and the little you know not important shows because they're not important and i just you know i don't have to give it that much but anyway this is supposed to be a rambling report because a lot of extra stuff has happened i should have went on ahead a lot of extra stuff has gone down and um i just want to talk to y'all about it as soon as i get out in this road um let's see so the actor who played the dad in Home Alone passed away. Uh, rest in peace to him. Rest in peace to uh, Chester. God, I can never remember his last name. From Lincoln Park, Chester. Rest in peace to the two of them. They were uh, both pretty big parts of my childhood. So, you know, that's that's messed up. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, when your time comes, your time comes. Um, oh, come on, move. All right, let me get out in this road. So anyway, <laughs> Kyrie Irving no longer wants to play with LeBron James. He's looking for a trade. Now, let me be 100% honest and let you know that I don't know who Kyrie Irving is. Like, I just don't, I don't know this man. And there's no disrespect to him. I just don't follow sports. So I wouldn't be able to give you an accurate, um, an accurate commentary on what they got going on. Just know that uh, he don't want to play with LeBron no more. Let's see. Khloe Kardashian disses a-hole trolls over a OJ Simpson's dad jokes. Okay, well, we all know, everybody knows that uh, Khloe's father was not Robert Kardashian. Who he may be is, is you know, to be determined, but it's, it just wasn't Robert. So you can feel some kind of way, but uh, you need to know that, that you really not, you are as much Kardashian as Khloe, I mean, as Kylie and Kendall. It's just, that's just how it is. I'm so sorry, but anyway. So anyway, let me get to the meat and potatoes of why I really came here today. Another one. <laughs> Another young lady has accused Usher of giving him a fever that she cannot sweat out. Like, I just don't understand. I don't, un okay, I don't understand the first girl, to be completely honest. I'm going to let these windows back down. I'm sorry if y'all can't hear me. I'm doing my best. But, um... I don't understand why the first young lady, if she was the first, I don't know in what order they slept with him, but girl, 1.1 million girl, I still just cannot wrap my head around how she let somebody put something in her that was spewing out green. Nothing in your body is supposed to be green. There is not a single thing inside of you that may come out that should be green. If you have green snot coming out of your nose, you're sick, you know? If you have a pimple and it comes out green, it's infected. So if your penis has green in it, something is wrong, it's, it's incorrect. It is very, very not okay. The only thing that is green that I will allow to be in somebody's uh, body is Robin Dixon's eyes and don't let them fool you because she's as real as they come. Like it just, I don't, it doesn't make sense how, now I'm, look, I'm out here, you can see in my background back there, I'm driving through lush, beautiful green trees. I don't feel any particular kind of way about it because these trees are supposed to be green. In the fall, they turn a lovely orange and red and all of that. That's normal. If I saw somebody I was meant to um, fornicate with and they had green coming from a thing that's supposed to go inside of me or around me, I, I would cancel. It's canceled. I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. I don't know why it's coming out of you. I don't know why you think it's okay. And I'm not sure why you're not in the hospital right now hooked up to IVs and things. But I won't be continuing with this, you know, sexual transaction because that's green and it's not supposed to be. That's how I would feel. Now, I don't know about this other woman. I don't know if she saw anything green or not. But um, this is kind of just the price you pay for sleeping with somebody's husband. I'm surprised. Olivia Pope ain't caught nothing. I'm surprised Mary Jane Paul ain't caught nothing because I think Mary Jane may have been sleeping with somebody's husband too. Like all the girls that y'all idolizing for being side chicks, they don't show you on TV that they get nasty things. They just don't show you that. Um, anyway, 
let me scooch on. I, I was going to read the story and find out, but I found out I didn't want to. Uh, let me see. Jada Pinkett Smith wants you to know that she and her husband, William, are not, no, Willard, sorry, are not uh, swingers. To that, I say, sis, yes, you are. <laughs> and I say that because the rumor about Will and Jada being swingers has been going on since I was maybe eight, seven, eight, somewhere in there. That's been the word on the street. You're not, not the word on Giselle Bryant Street, because that word is that she's, you know, still the word on the street. But the word on the actual, you better stop, because listen, we're not getting hit today. Um, the word on the street has always been, my grandmama even told me, you know, Will and Jada be swinging. Why is this police officer just stopped right here? Move. I can't, I can't do it today. Let me scooch around you, because you on my nerves. Police officers in general be on my nerves, but you really on my nerves, just blocking the road. Anyway. The point I'm, I'm trying to get to is Will and Jada, the rumors about them being swingers has been going on for like 20 years. And why now would you try to disper dispel excuse me, those rumors? They've been saying this for this long and you pop up in 2017 saying, oh yeah, by the way, we're not swingers. You mean you're not swingers anymore? Because if somebody tried to say me and my man was out here sleeping with, you know, her and her man, then I would say immediately, if it weren't true, no, I'm not sleeping with her and her man. I, I don't even, I'm not sure where y'all getting this from, but that's just not the tea. All these Instagram posts of um, Will, I mean, yeah, all these Instagram and Facebook posts that Will and Jada be putting up and they be sharing all these lovely pictures of their families and all these long dissertations about how much they love each other. Oh, come on now. Sorry. All these long dissertations about how much they love each other. And they hadn't bothered to say in all these long posts they be putting up, you know, I met you at your mama's house, we had a good time, blah, blah, blah. They be saying all of this, but they don't say, and we never have swung. Like, y'all expect us after low this many years to believe that you're not swinging. I just don't. I just don't. I'm sorry. I believe that y'all got a lot of little stuff going on in y'all's home. And I'm not one to judge. Um, that has nothing to do with me. I think your children are fantastic, but I also think they're weird, and I think they're weird because their parents are weird, and I think their parents have exposed them to things that normal children don't get exposed to, and I think one of those things is swinging. I just do. I'm sorry. I just, that's just the way it is. It's too early for me to be trying to say. Um, Keisha Cole explains why she's living with her ex-husband, Daniel Gibson. I'm going to try to drive and find out why. Let's see. Okay, so basically, um, Daniel is going through some financial things and she feels like since they still co-parents, they need to live together. I don't know why Robin Dixon is out here influencing the girls to do this. I don't know why I keep talking about her today, her and her sister Giselle. I don't know why, but it just doesn't make sense. Like, my mother and father, they broke up 22 years ago. And 22 years ago, um, they never lived together again. <laughs> They never lived together again. I don't think they ever hardly stepped foot in each other's homes again. They never did. My father, every now and again, came over to me and my mama's house, stepped foot in, only to like grab my bags and step foot out so we could go to his house. Like that was the gist of it. It was never really, you know, we co-parents, but we broke up, but we gonna still live together for the sake of the children. That's ridiculous. That's dumb. That shows children that even though y'all broke up and even though y'all don't love each other and even though y'all might not be able to uh, stand each other y'all still gonna hang out because of the kids the kids know that they mom and daddy don't like each other i was very clear at a very young age that my mom and daddy don't get along it was clear and i was like okay well whatever i'm gonna go play at daddy's house and then i'm gonna come home play at mama's house and then i'm gonna go play at granny's house like it just it was clear to me that my great grandparents loved each other down boots and they've been married over, I think they hit 70 years this past um, September. I don't know, honey. They hit 70 years, and it was clear to me that they would hit 70 years because they are passionate about each other. They get on each other's nerves, and they fight, and they fuss, and this, that, and the other, but let one of them not be in the house. It's a big issue. So anyway, I don't understand why the girls have to live with their ex for the sake of the children. It doesn't make sense to me. I feel like Keisha, if he's having financial problems, if you're supposed to be this, you know, wealthy girl that you try to portray on the internet and things, then maybe buy him a little apartment. And he's a basketball player. So I, 
I don't understand. But give him a little apartment or something down the street. Pay for his Uber back and forth every day so he can see the baby. But he ain't got to live with you. He just doesn't. Let's see. Um, Sean Spicer has resigned as White House press secretary. Uh, I don't care. I think that's wonderful for Sean. I feel like, you know, a weight has been lifted off of his shoulders. Maybe he'll retire and go, you know, to Boca Raton and have a good time. Now, congratulations, Sean, for, for resigning. Um, Blue Ivy hit the Millie Rock the other day, and it was just everything I needed. It's, um, it's very clear that at this point, at this stage in her development, uh, she is a rapper. She's a rapper at this point. We don't know if she's going to grow up and be a rapper, singer, actress, dancer. But right now, what's clear is that she is a rapper. Because everything is Shaka. And I don't know why I didn't know that before. You know, she told me. And when she told me, I said, everything is Shaka. And not only is everything Shaka, everything is Rufus and Shaka Khan. I said, oh my God. The key, the, you know, the key to life, just the, the meaning of everything is Rufus and Shaka Khan's tell me something good. I believe that's what I, I, Blue Ivy told me. I think that's what she was saying to me. And I just honestly, I felt it. But anyway, <laughs> I'm being extra. The point is she did her cute little Millie Rock. And what I'm trying to say is she, she's not at this stage in development a dancer. We love her so, so much. She's going to get it together. But at this point, because if you remember, like I remember, because I've been watching this video 13, no, yeah, about 13 years consecutively. I've been watching Beyonce and Kelly, you know, go through and clap and dance and shimmy on down to the ground and baby, baby, don't make me mad. I've been watching that constantly. And it was clear that at five years old, Beyonce had moves. Blue, and I don't know if it was the material she's been given because these, you know, the dances of today just aren't what they were back in 86. So it may be very clear, it, it was clear to me that she's not just a dancer at this point, but maybe it's the material, you know, that just hit me, a revelation, because I started thinking about Shaka, and once you start thinking about Shaka, things, you know, are revealed to you, and it was revealed to me just now that maybe it's the material, maybe she can dance, she just can't dance to what the rest of the girls are dancing to, and that makes sense, that makes sense, you sit and you, you contemplate Shaka in your life, and tell me where it leads you, put down in the comments where Shaka has taken you. Because it, it reveals things. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Natari Knighton and her boyfriend who looks really gay in this photograph. This young man is zesty. They welcome a baby girl. <laughs> Congratulations. I hope your man ain't gay. I've never um, seen him. I've never heard him speak. But once I do, I will be able to give you an accurate reading. Um, but anyway, congratulations. So happy for you and your family. Um, OJ. OJ's out of jail. I don't know um, what year it is for OJ, R. Kelly, and Usher to be in the news a lot but OJ is out he, he not officially but he will be out as early as October 1st um, and some people are upset and some people are mighty glad about it I don't feel any particular kind of way but what I do know is that once OJ gets out of jail he's gonna do stupid things um, it's in his nature to do stupid things and I just don't think that once he gets out of jail, especially from being in jail for nine years, I don't think um, he's going to be able to control whatever impulses he has. And he's just going to do dumb stuff. And he's going to probably end up getting arrested again or like overdose on drugs or something. And I don't, I, you know, I hate it for him. But OJ is not, and, and I'm not of the era. I'm not, listen, I was one <laughs> when Nicole Brown Simpson passed. And so I'm not of the mindset that, you know, they was just trying to, because OJ is a black man and they da 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 and Rodney King and yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not of that mindset. And I know a lot of black people, like, you know, they just keep their mouths shut about OJ. They have their private thoughts that, oh, maybe he did, you know, murder these people. But anyway, he a black man and they trying to keep him dead. I'm not, look, he killed them folks. He killed them folks. Something is wrong with him emotionally and developmentally. And he needed to have been put in a psychiatric type uh, setting rather than just a regular j uh, jail. But since the girls um, deemed him competent, and that may be an issue as far as, you know, color, that you can see this man is obviously not, you know, John Cena, you can't see me, is <laughs> is very vacant in there. And they still deemed him competent to stand trial. I feel like he should have been incompetent because he's incompetent. But that's just, you know, that's my personal nigga opinion, you know? Anyway, off of OJ. I wish he would come out so I could turn. Okay, I'm just, because I don't have the energy today. You wasting my time and everybody's time and money, and I just can't be bothered. 
Um, I'm gonna slide right in here. Right in here. I'm gonna give y'all a couple more topics. And then I'm gonna let you go run in here and do this job for a couple hours and then scooch back out. Unhand me. Um, Black China's ex side piece is reportedly heading to Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Good for him. Tiger is wearing these braids and he looks terrible. Um, but he says he tried to warn Rob Kardashian about Black China. He told him, be careful. I don't doubt that at all. Um, Madame Tussauds wax, fig wax figure looks almost exactly like um, Maya Rudolph when she does her Beyonce skits on Saturday Night Live. And I'm thinking that the, the racist girls over at Madame Tussauds may have gotten it confused. And when they Googled Beyonce, they pulled up Maya Rudolph skits and just based it off of that. Because I just don't, I don't see how, I don't see how. Um, R. Kelly's upcoming concerts have been unaffected by his host hostage scandal, and I really, listen, <laughs> I have a very special place in my heart for Lady Nika, and Lady Nika has a very special place in her heart for Robert Kelly. I don't know exactly how she feels about it because I haven't seen her, um, FSF, uh, videos or her STS videos, um, for this week, so I'm not sure how she feels about it, but I'm just going to have to say that this situation in particular, the situation with Robert Kelly getting away with raping, molesting, apparently kidnapping, um, marrying underage girls, um, this particular situation shows young girls that black people especially don't care about their girls being raped, taken advantage of, or anything like that. That's what I'm getting from this. Because a man came to us a couple months ago and said his wife, ran off with Kelly um, for many many years now people have been reporting the news to us that R. Kelly is out here sitting outside of the schools um, in Chicago taking the girls to and fro sleeping with them and they are you know 14 15 16 all of this and he still is able to be on Mariah Carey's last album he's still putting out music Pied Piper remixes all over the place the girl's still at the barbecue playing is the remix to ignition and I can't lie that's a hot song that's my only uh R. Kelly you know favorite I don't like R. Kelly I don't care for his vocals or anything I hate I believe I can fly with a passion but that's not the point here the point here is I feel like y'all are just showing black girls that y'all just don't care you just don't because they're giving this a lot of media attention because it's R. Kelly, but remember when all those girls, and they're still uh, missing, a lot of them, kept going missing from D.C. and around the area, and all the girls in Africa, the 186, I think, girls that went missing in Africa. We'll talk about that for a quick second, then we'll go on about our day. And that's just literally telling girls that we don't care if you get kidnapped and raped. No big deal. Especially if it's R. Kelly. This is R. Kelly. He kidnapping and raping girls. Let me take my young daughters to the, you know, this concert. It just doesn't make sense. I just can't. I disagree. I just can't do it. Oh, shoot. I done closed my my app and I got three minutes to get in there and I wanted to give y'all one more something let's see um, Jada Pinkett opens up about how she first met Tupac and revealed she used to be a drug dealer is anybody surprised there's nothing Jada Pinkett Smith could do that I would go oh, I'm so shocked I'm so I can't believe Jada Pinkett Smith did this there's nothing she could do I just I love her so, so much. I'm passionate about her. I watch Hawthorne all the time. Um, but there's nothing she can do that I would be shook about. And that's all I'm going to give you because that's, <laughs> that's literally where last, my last video and this video meet. I've already covered the topics that I'm reading from the other one. So like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. Okay. Do that. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, all the things that YouTubers say, you know, thumbs me, talk down in the description. I mean, in the, the comment section, all of that, blah, 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 blah. And all my information's in the description. All Matea's information's in the description. We do this every day. We tell you this every day. By we, I mean me and her. Both of us. Um, and let me slide into work because it is officially... Oh, I still got two minutes. But I'm going I'm to I'm swoop in early and surprise the girls. <laughs> anyway, y'all. I'll see y'all later. I'm going to try to do Queen Sugar. If not tonight, tomorrow. Anyway, bye. <laughs>